as Taylor Swift sings about her current and past relationships on her new album, ex Joe Alwyn has moved on. Joe and Taylor split up last year after dating for six years. She went on to date the 1975 frontman Maddie Healy and is now in a relationship with American football player Travis Kelsey while actor Joe is now also dating and happy. An insider source told People, he's a great guy and not into drama in any way, adding that the British actor has moved on from the US pop star. The source claimed Joe doesn't talk poorly about her. He was in love with her, and it just didn't work out, the source said. Joe loves acting, but can't stand the attention that comes with it. Has not comfortable in the spotlight. Taylor fans quickly analyzed her new album and there appears to be several references to her relationship with Joe. Fans suspect So Long, London and Lama to be about Joe while the album's title and track number two have been heavily rumored to be a reference to him. The actor previously said he was in a group chat with Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott, which was subsequently revealed to be called The Tortured Man Club. Meanwhile, Joe has banned any questions about the album and his relationship with the singer from the upcoming press tour for his movie Kinds of Kindness. The British actor co-stars with Taylor's friend Emma Stone in the film. Joe has always shied away from speaking about his relationship with Taylor. In 2022, the actor told Harper's Bazaar that he can understand the interest in their relationship. But I don't see why these questions should always be answered. He added, I completely expect people to ask those questions if I'm putting work into the world, of course people are going to ask about that. After Taylor dropped the tortured poets department this month, she shared a statement opened up on letting go of the sensational and sorrowful time that inspired her latest record. This period of the author's life is now over, the chapter closed and boarded up, she wrote. There is nothing to avenge, no scores to settle once wounds have healed. And upon further reflection, a good number of them turned out to be self-inflicted, added Swift. This writer is of the firm belief that our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. Once we have spoken our saddest story, we can be free of it. And then all that's left behind is the tortured poetry. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.